I, I've got a good friend who unfortunately had a heart attack yesterday. His name is Bill Edgar, and I think Bill will recover, but a uh, difficult moment for him, who's a jazz pianist and who introduced me to Monty. Uh, and he introduced me to a time when another friend of mine, Rush Moody, said, uh, hey, would you start a jazz program? And uh, Rush was chairman of the Chesapeake Chamber Music Organization. So I said, yes, I would. And, and so I used, uh, I used Bill Edgar's uh, friendship with Monty to, uh, to invite Monty to come in and do a concert. And he did, and it was wonderfully received. And so I then, over lunch in New York, said to Monty, hey, how about becoming our artistic director and letting us name the festival for you? And, you know, he was flattered, but I don't think he quite knew what to do with me. I think he, I don't think he knew what the lunch was exactly about, although it related to the concert that we had had with him. But I think that he was uh, surprised and pleased, and, and he's been our artistic director since. I mean, I had j literally just arrived in Easton uh, when, when my friend Rush Moody over dinner one night brought it up. And he said, uh, you, know, I, you know, my organization features chamber music, and jazz is also small ensemble music. And so he said, I think we have an opening to do a jazz program. And he knew I loved jazz, and so he asked me if I would, uh, if I would do it. And I said I would. I, I don't think you can love something without uh, at times finding yourself an advocate for what you love. But no, I'm, I, mine is, is moved more by emotion than by uh, brain. From, I've gotten the most pleasure, pleasure from introducing a lot of people to jazz who just didn't know jazz. I mean, jazz was a word. They maybe had seen a concert or two. They didn't know whether they liked it or not. And then, uh, you know, we reached out to them. They came to one of our concerts here. They found they liked it. And they've come back and back and back. And many of those people were, were really generous. And they uh, provided gifts. Uh, and, and, and it gave us an underlying economic base from which we could expand and expand and expand. So, uh, I, as I say, I love to be at the concerts. I mean, nobody enjoys the concerts more than I do. But I think more than anything, I like to see other people enjoy the concerts. Well, you know, the, the, the metrics are that, that the first year that we had the um, Jazz Fest, we had two concerts. We had a Friday night concert uh, featuring Grace Kelly on the alto saxophone. And then we had Monty uh, play the following night. And, uh, and now we do six concerts. Uh, and we went from, from uh, a few hundred people who were coming to our concerts, and now we're, last year, I think we had almost 1,500 that came to our concerts. So it's been up and up and up and up, because our venues are small. And I think jazz works best in small venues. I can remember uh, concerts in Central Park uh, where I thought the, uh, the size of both the area and the audience just ate up you know, the jazz ensemble that was performing. It just, they just weren't big enough. You know, you almost needed uh, sort of the modern day version of Stan Kenton, you know, to get people's attention in Central Park. Yeah. You know, I, I probably should quit doing what I'm doing because, uh, you know, I've gone further than I thought, you know, we could go when we began. And, and, uh, and so then the question of where we go is, is a difficult question. Uh, you know, we, uh, have a uh, theater, uh, which I love, the Avalon, but it's sized uh, to max out at 400, and so uh, you know, I, we can't go to, uh, to a thousand seat auditorium. There's not one around, or to the extent that there is, it's well outside the Easton Village. And I really think the Easton Village provides for the artist and for the people who come to our festival a really uh, attractive place to come and to stay and to eat and to go to the shops and so uh, will we expand? I'm sure we will, but I'm not exactly sure how right now. Uh, I think what our expansion has been in, uh, in sort of year one through year five, uh, it, was, it was quite rapid. Uh, concerts expanded, numbers of people who came expanded. Uh, we started the free concert. Uh, uh, you know, I'm very pleased by all of that. Uh, but then what I think the uh, support has allowed us to do is expand and expand the quality of the festival. So this is, in my view, the best small festival in the United States.